Hello everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. I've been a guest designer on the Coffee Loving Card Makers blog throughout the summer, but the season is almost over and kids are headed back to school. So I've decided to share a fun back to school project with you. When I taught at the school, I was required to bring my own K cups for the coffee maker. So I thought that giving out a little basket of these would be a great back to school gift for the teachers. This project uses some pattern papers and some coffee stamps. I'm going to be creating my projects with these items from my collection, but I know that you probably have a few others you would be able to use on your projects. I am going to show you how to create these boxes manually, but for those of you who have a cutting machine and would like to make multiples of these, I do have an SVG file that you can use. I'll put a link to that in the description below. I have cut a piece of pattern paper at five inches by 10 inches. Now, if you're using pattern paper, you want to make sure that the pattern is going vertically for this project. I'm placing this on my paper cutter with the 10 inch side at the top. You could also use a scoreboard if you have one. I'm going to use a bone folder to score this piece at four inches and at six inches. And then I'm going to rotate this so that the five inch side is at the top. Using my bone folder, I'm going to score at one and one quarter inches and three and three fourths inches. Now I need to create a few cut lines. I'm going to place the longer edge against the one and one fourth inch cut line. And then I'm going to use my paper cutter and cut down to that four inch line. Most paper cutters have a little mark that shows you where to stop. Now I'm going to flip this over and repeat the cut on the other side. Again, lining it up with the one and one fourth inch measurement, and then I'm going to cut to the four inch line. I'm going to rotate this so that the opposite side is at the top and repeat the same cuts on either side. Again, lining it up at the one and one quarter inch measurement, and then cutting to the four inch line. Now I need to trim off one and a half inches from each of these smaller flaps. I'm going to place the longer side at the top of my paper cutter, and then I'm going to fold in the center pieces and line everything up at the one and a half inch mark. Then I'm just going to cut off the end of each of those flaps. I'm going to repeat this on all four of the smaller flaps that were cut, and then I can assemble the box. To assemble the box, you're going to fold all the pieces in towards the center. If needed, go ahead and use a bone folder to burnish the score lines so that they are nice and crisp. I'm going to apply some double-sided tape to the outside of one of the flaps, then fold it up and into the center. We're going to bring over that smaller flap from the opposite side and adhere them together to form one side of the box. I'm going to repeat this process with the other side. I'm going to add some double-sided tape to the outside of one of the flaps, then I'm going to fold them into the center. Now I have a little box that's been created inside. The K cup or a treat can sit right inside here and the sides of the box fold up. I'm going to use a punch to create a little hole in the top so that I can loop some ribbon through and tie it closed. I like to wrap twine around the top of my ribbon because it makes it a lot easier to open. This twine is also going to help us attach the tags in place when we create those. On the front of the box, I'm going to add a few little decorations. 
I have already shaded the coffee cup with tri-blend markers and I'm backing it with a stitched circle that I cut with a die. I didn't share the coloring process in this video today because I have quite a few videos here on my channel where I show you how to color coffee cups with tri-blend markers and watercolor paints. I'll add links to a few of those videos in the description below and I'll put a link to my favorite in the upper right hand corner of this video. Now I've also gone ahead and stamped and hand cut a little tag and I'm going to tie that at the top of the little box using that twine that I tied around the ribbon. This took me a little bit of time to get that twine tied into a bow but once it was done the K cup holder was complete. Now I'm going to bring in two other boxes that I made with these papers and the stamp set. These other two boxes were created using a few of the stamped images and phrases from that wonderful little stamp set. I added circles behind each of the images and created different tags for the top of the box. Now these went together really quickly and you could make an entire basket full of these for the teacher's lounge or send one or two with your child on the first day of school. I did create an SVG file for those who wish to cut these out with a cutting machine. It is much faster when you can cut multiples from one sheet of paper. These K cup holders can be used for other items too, like candy or mini lotions or other small little gifts that you want to give. If you're one who likes to pin photos to inspiration boards, I will be placing all of these photos on my website today and you can go ahead and grab those there. I do want to thank you for joining me today for another project. If you are looking for more inspiration, make sure you stop by the Coffee Loving Card Makers blog. The design team there is amazing. If you have any questions about this project or the supplies I used today, feel free to post those in the comments below. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.